from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Another sign that the economy is improving in Henrico and the General Assembly discusses civilian review boards. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute for Friday, September 4th, 2020. It's brought to you today by Henrico Area Mental Health. And now for the news. Some more good news on the unemployment front for Henrico. The number of county residents who filed first-time unemployment claims fell for the fifth consecutive week, this time by nearly 13%, establishing another post-pandemic low, according to data released yesterday by the Virginia Employment Commission. A total of 239 county residents filed initial claims during the week that ended August 29th. That was down from 274 who did so the previous week. It was the lowest number of initial claims filed in the county since the week before the pandemic began in March when just 79 Henricoans filed. Overall, Henrico ranks 8th statewide during the most recent filing period in number of first-time filers and it continues to rank 8th overall among total first-time claims since the pandemic began with just more than 39,000. Richmond is fourth with almost 47,000, while Chesterfield is seventh with 39,379. Another positive sign is that the number of continuing claims filed by Henrico residents who previously filed initial unemployment claims decreased for the seventh time in the past eight reporting weeks. That number is now at just more than 9,300 or less than a quarter of the total number of first-time filers from Henrico during the pandemic. That likely indicates that most of the others have returned to work. It's been a bit of a roller coaster for Henrico County's moving seven-day COVID-19 positivity percentage in the last week or so. It dropped fairly significantly again yesterday, down from 9.1% August 29th to 7.5% August 30th. The percentage is intentionally a few days behind the current date. It's the biggest single-day decrease in the county's rate since early June. Yesterday, the Virginia Department of Health also reported 37 new cases of the virus in the county, as well as two new COVID-related hospitalizations. Overall, just more than 4,700 confirmed cases of the virus have been reported in Henrico, among nearly 81,000 PCR tests since the pandemic began. The Virginia House of Delegates yesterday advanced legislation that would require state localities to form law enforcement civilian review boards to address possible cases of officer misconduct. Such boards have been one of the key demands from protesters during the recent social justice movement in Virginia. The Virginia Senate's version of the bill, however, does not require localities to enact review boards. It only enables them to have such boards with more power than they have now. The Senate and House will have to work through that significant difference to agree upon the same language in order for the bill to pass both chambers. Now, Henrico's Board of Supervisors has been weighing the creation of a CRB but has opted to delay potential action on the topic until the General Assembly acts during this special session, if at all. In discussion on the House floor yesterday, Republican Delegate William Wampler of Abingdon criticized Democrats and their criminal justice rhetoric calling it, quote, divisive. Wampler told the House that he was unsure of what his purpose is in the House of Delegates at this time. But House Majority Leader Sharniel Herring of Alexandria said, quote, the goal of this session is to heal, to help the police to make them strong. We were elected to do what is difficult, end quote. And Rico Delegate Lamont Bagby, who's also the chair of the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus, said, quote, this is not a war against police. This is a war for justice, end quote. Among other bills advanced by the House yesterday was one that would prohibit landlords from reporting negative credit information that has arisen during the COVID-19 pandemic as a result of the pandemic, and an anti-price gouging bill that would prohibit any manufacturer or distributor from selling necessary goods or services at an unreasonable price during a state of emergency. You can read more of our coverage from the General Assembly by visiting HenricoCitizen.com and clicking on news and then government. A Moody Middle School student has been named one of the top 300 middle school scientists in the nation by the Broadcom Masters program, a science, technology, engineering, and math competition for middle schoolers. 
Camelia Sharma was selected from a pool of more than 3,400 student applicants from 42 states and Puerto Rico. The program is founded and produced by the Society for Science and the Public. It seeks to inspire young scientists, engineers, and innovators. Every 12 minutes, a Virginian dies from an opioid overdose. Every 12 minutes. Opioid overdoses are on the increase in Henrico. Yes, the opioid epidemic is still impacting residents in Henrico. But you can help. To find out what you can do, go to BounceBackHC.com. That's BounceBackHC.com. Knowledge is power, including learning about naloxin. That's naloxin, which can temporarily reverse the toxic effects of an opioid or heroin overdose. Get informed, get help, save a life. Go to BounceBackHC.com. That's BounceBackHC.com. To equip yourself with the knowledge to help our residents and the community of Henrico County against the opioid epidemic. Knowing what to do will allow you to be prepared to save a life. Go to BounceBackHC.com today. That's BounceBackHC.com or call 804-727-8515. That's 804-727-8515 directly for substance abuse service. This message is sponsored by Henrico Area CSB Prevention Services.